Evangelization, the spread of the gospel, is very much on Pope Benedict's mind. So much so that last September he created a new pontifical council for the specific purpose of promoting the new evangelization. Part of what is called the new evangelization involves reaching out to new generations, the young people of our world who are growing up in a very secularized environment, one that either ignores or denies God. It involves reaching out to them in new ways using the new methods of communications to reach them. But such methods alone aren't enough. They must convey a content that speaks to the heart. Thus, Pope Benedict asks us to join him this month in praying that through its compelling preaching of the gospel, the church may give young people new reasons for life and hope. This is critical, not only for the future of the church, but also for the very future of humanity. For as the Holy Father told young people last year in words that echo this prayer intention, quote, the future is in the hands of those who know how to seek and find sound reasons for life and hope. Two years ago, again speaking to young people, Pope Benedict eloquently laid out the problem and the solution. Here's what he said. We are all aware of the need for hope, not just any kind of hope, but a firm and reliable hope. Youth is a special time of hope because it looks to the future with a whole range of expectations. When we are young, we cherish ideals, dreams, and plans. Youth is the time when decisive choices concerning the rest of our lives come to fruition. Perhaps this is why it is the time of life when fundamental questions assert themselves strongly. Why am I here on earth? What is the meaning of life? What will my life be like? And again, how can I attain happiness? Why is there suffering, illness, and death? What lies beyond death? These are questions that become insistent when we are faced with obstacles that sometimes seem insurmountable. Difficulties with studies, unemployment, family arguments, crises in friendships or in building good, loving relationships, illness or disability, lack of adequate resources as a result of the present widespread economic and social crisis. We then ask ourselves, where can I obtain and how can I keep alive the flame of hope burning in my heart? Experience shows that personal qualities and material goods are not enough to guarantee the hope which the human spirit is constantly seeking. Politics, science, technology, economics, and all other material resources are not of themselves sufficient to provide the great hope to which we all aspire. This hope can only be God. This is why one of the main consequences of ignoring God is the evident loss of direction that marks our societies, resulting in loneliness and violence, discontent and loss of confidence that can often lead to despair. The crisis of hope is more likely to affect the younger generations. My dear young friends, I have in mind so many of your contemporaries who have been wounded by life they often suffer from personal immaturity caused by dysfunctional family situations, by permissive and libertarian elements in their education, and by difficult and traumatic experience. For some, unfortunately a significant number, the almost unavoidable way out involves an alienating escape into dangerous and violent behavior, dependence on drugs and alcohol, and many other such traps for the unwary. Yet, even for those who find themselves in difficult situations, having been led astray by bad role models, the desire for true love and authentic happiness is not extinguished. But how can we speak of hope to these young people? We know that it is in God alone that a human person finds true fulfillment. The main task for us all is that of a new evangelization aimed at helping younger generations to rediscover the true face of God, who is love." End quote. In this month, when we will be celebrating the passion, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, 
the true face of God who is love. We commit ourselves to praying that the church may find compelling ways to lead young people to the life and hope that only Jesus can give.